Hey believers, in this video we will know one glitch in a game from which you have a good chance to get 97 rating players or 50 million plus coins instantly. Furthermore, all these topics are covered throughout this video. 1. 0 to 100 over as AF2P account pack opening. 2. Glitch and huge chance to get 97 rating players and 50 to 200 million plus coins. 3. Upcoming FC Mobile Leaks and opportunity to earn 1 to 200 million plus coins. So believers welcome back to episode 16 of the Zero. To 100 OVR as F2P series, where our aim is to reach 100 OVR as free to play users. Before we move, make sure you have subscribed to the channel as once we reach 100 over in this account, I am going to give it to one of you my subscribers only. Anyway, let's move to point number one. Zero to 100 over as a F2P account pack opening. First, I have to grind more tokens to get Zico. In the recent scenario, I need the center attacking midfielder as I have good strikers and center midfielders. So I am gonna claim this cam position Zico. I guess he is amazing as he has five star skill moves, good traits, and even both feet are five star. That looks incredible, so I exchange the tokens. Now after opening this passing store, I can claim him. Here we go finally, I have claimed Zico. Let's put him in our squad and see if we can reach a 95 rating. Alright, still not a 95 rating. Looks like we have to change the RB position player. I have unlocked a free 88 rating Laham, and let's claim it. I am keeping this 94. Long in my right back position when I get him. Now, let's go to the new Centurions chapter. In this chapter you can claim a lot of fodders from each position. For example from the defender you can claim 40 x 60 to 92 rating players by purchasing 4 recruitment packs. Similarly midfielder and striker fodder have different requirements. And remember that this is a tradable pack. So I suggest everyone not to miss this mission. Anyway this is the recruitment pack and let's open this. This is my first pack and after opening it for 4 times you will get this defensers pack for free to claim. Now once you open 7 recruitment packs, you will be able to choose a reward between Muller or Mascarano. If you have a 95 rating plus account then, choose Mascarano otherwise just choose Muller. I will definitely choose Muller as in case I will not have a striker above 94 rating. Let's try the dice game and see if we can pack something banger. Alright first try. What only 10k coins? Again the second try. Ha ha ha, EA is literally joking with me. The third try. Again, nothing good, 2x fodders. The last try. Alright, this pack has good potential, let's see what we can get. It's founder animation German, goalkeeper, and newer. Totally looted this time. Now I am using the Sergio Ramos to open 87 to 97 rating exchange packs. Let's see if we can get something good. All right, bro, toady animation. Looks great. Germany, right midfielder from Bayern, and no bro, 90 rating sane. Now, he I have launched a 90 to 97 rating pack for just five limits, and it just costs 2K gems, which is insane. Many people are even packing the 97 rating players from this pack, as you can see the supply of the 97 rating players in the market. So, I am definitely trying to do this pack. Let's open. All right, Japan, striker. He is a 90 rating Okazaki. Literally 999 plus sell. Now, I am using him in the 89 to 97 rating exchange pack. If I don't get 95 rating plus player then, that is going to be 2.5 million loss for me. Hope to get better luck. No bro, founder animation surely something bad. All right, this is Stupinen. He has good left back stats, so I am keeping him in my squad. It's really not a good habit to do the untradeable exchange by purchasing players from the market, but today I just need at least one X95 plus rating player. So let me try the 87 to 97 exchange pack. As always, EA always scams me. Ha ha ha. This founder animation really doesn't give anything good. Not that. Great luck. This is the last chance, so let's go. 
and even the player I am getting is not great. Today, due to this exchange pack, I lost 6.5 million coins. Anyway, let's go to point number two. Glitch and huge chance to get 97 rating players and 50 to 200 million plus coins. So you really can't get 97 rating plus players confirmed, but if you know this glitch, then I am sure you will increase your chance by 50% using this new glitch. I don't know if it's really a glitch or whatever, but I noticed it. First, as I was having few gems, I exchanged 2.5k gems using this 1k competitive points, and I have gems to open this pack. Actually, this pack is very rare and cheap, so I suggest everyone must try this because people are still getting 97 rating centurions from this pack, and due to that today, the supply of the 97 rating centurions players is really high. Just look at the market price of even newly launched players, they are, literally, at a very low price. So each and every player has a huge supply, and if you are going to utilize this glitch or bug, then, that will lead to a huge market karsh. This glitch has two advantages, which are, you have a great opportunity to pack 97 rating players. Another thing is, you can invest in the crash players to earn millions coins. Anyway, let's try and learn to earn 50 to 200 million plus coins. This is my second try. All right, wow, Brazil. Please Neymar. No bro, center midfielder and it's Joe Linton. Now if I sell him then, it's instant 9 million coins. Let's try once more, but what? I don't have gems. Ha ha ha. I have completed three boring matches and I got free 1.5k gems from the Icon Evolution chapter. Now let's open that pack again. It's England, right back and no bro 90 rating ward with 2.7 million value. I have to sell him using refresh time as he will surely drop to minimum. It's an instant 2 million profit for me. So actually if you do a 5 tries then you have a 2. Great chance to pack 94 to 97 rating players, and if you get then, you are surely getting instant coins. For example, getting a Neymar card is an instant 180 million plus profit. Now, I know you might not have that much good luck, so let me say you what glitch in this pack. I have already tried this pack three times and the limit here is five, right? Now just look at the name of this pack. It's a Centurions Limited Pack and you can see everything. Now if you come to the Exchanges section and go to the Items then, there you will get another Centurions Limited Pack where you will get five more tries. And that's how actually you can have great opportunity to get 97 rating player for free. And if you get even 95 to 97 rating players out of 10 tries then, thing you will surely get between 50 to 200 million plus coins by selling that player. I don't know if it's a glitch or whatever, but just before we open the same pack three times and we were actually not counting the limits in this pack. I mean the limit is different here. You can try more. EA literally charges 15k to 25k gems for 90 to 97 rating store packs, but you are just getting 10 tries in just 20k gems, which will guarantee you 90 to 97 rating players. So don't miss this chance because this pack is really amazing. Now if you don't know how to earn more gems then, make sure to check out a gems trick video where you can earn a good amount of gems. But remember that takes time and patience. Anyway, hope for your better luck. 3. Upcoming FC Mobile Leaks an opportunity to earn 1 to 200 million plus coins. I don't know if other people know about that glitch or whatever, but if they don't know, and most of you know after watching this video then, I am sure that more trials are going to lead to a huge market crash. For example, before people were doing just 5 tries in that 90 to 97 rating store pack, and now they know 5 more tries. So if they do 5 more tries then, it's going to lead to more crashes in the Centurions. Players. Just look at this. Just that 5 tries is creating this much huge supply, and every player is literally going down. So this is a huge investment opportunity, and if you have coins to invest there you can surely earn a huge amount of coins, but wait in the market you always have to look for the exceptions before taking any step forward. First thing is, we don't know if EA will remove this pack tomorrow, after week or after month. So that is going to affect the price of this players. I suggest not to invest in them in the current scenario as they might fall more and more if the pack is going to remain for long. You have to observe these players for one to two more days. They will reach a minimum price, and in case if the supply gets controlled, then only think for the investment. We can't predict when the supply gets control and demand will start getting as it's totally upon market algorithm. So, observing is our option, and after observation I will constantly update everything instantly in our Discord server. 
so make sure you joined our Discord server. You can find the link of Discord server in the description section. Now talking about more FC Mobile Leaks updates and investments. Sapurit have confirmed that we are going to get a Zanetti 94 rating exchange next Saturday on the 20th of April. That exchange is going to be similar to the Van Basten exchange which needs 8 tokens to get Zanetti. You have a good investment opportunity that time. I don't understand why EA is still giving 94 rating players exchange. I think they should make it a 95 or 96 rating exchange. Anyway, I will make a proper analysis about the 94 rating Zanetti in tomorrow's video, or I will try to publish it in our Discord server. Furthermore, on the same day, we will get a 91 rating Diaz exchange. On next Tuesday, we will also get 93 to 97 rating Centurions exchange packs. Another leak is 2x offer wall, and I am really not sure what support it wants to say from this post. Maybe 2x gems, but I am getting a bit confused as there are some daily mystery deals. Anyway, let's wait for the date he has mentioned. Now the next event is going to be the TOTS, and the live stream preview for the TOTS is going to be scheduled on the 26th of April Friday. After that Friday, the Thursday is on May 2nd, so probably TOTS will come on 2nd May. Anyway, let me know how excited you are for this biggest event, and are you expecting more preparation tips from me? Let me know in the comments section as I always read your comments and make videos according to your feedback. So yeah, my believers bros, that's it for today's episode, and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more amazing episodes. Thank you. I will meet you with the next one. Till then, your lovely host, Mr. Believer, signing out.